morning let's start the general discussion the first topic is regarding the economic topic sebi has issued a consultation paper the objective to restrict the association of sebi registered intermediaries and unregulated entities with unregistered influencers so what comes a new concept called influencer financial influencer so they are called as the financial influencers who influence the financial market financial influencers also known as influencers are people who advise and suggest investment to investor on social media so what do they are they they advice and suggest investment to investors on social media platforms okay they are the people who acts as advisor and they suggest investment to investors on social media so they don't have any registered uh, they are not registered entities they have no is they are no physically available they are digitally present and in the online mode they advise the investors where to invest sebi bar the influencers from dealing in the security market okay so sebi has strictly banned that he cannot directly deal in the security market because their influence may lead to negative impact because in the investors will be biased by them and may carry on investment which are more riskier keeping that in view sebi has directed them not to directly go for direct investment in the security market okay sebi bar the influencers from dealing uh, with the security market it has also ordered influencers to pay back rupees 17.2 crore which he has allegedly made by lorry clients through misleading false information and influencing them to deal in security so some of these influencers they have misled the people and thereby made a profit of 17.2 crore look other people are allured by their false promises and invest in the market from which so they are able to get their commission okay by promising false or making false promises okay so uh, that 17.2 crore what he has collected as commission by just this false promises need to be recovered that was also recommended by sebi okay concern pertaining to influencers they lack understanding of the complexity and inner working of market despite their self proclaimed expertise Some of these influencers make outrageous claims in an attempt to attract attention 
enter users to subscribe to their services and make money to force equities down in the throat of uh, credulous investors they have turned to unethical tactics controversial are those influencers incentive scheme some of which are commission based and their association with different brokerages the beneficial role of influencers influencers have the potential to help people who are unfamiliar with financial markets goods and services by sharing financial knowledge and guidance with them what are the functions and power of the sebi being a quasi judicial and quasi legislative body sebi has the authority to make rules carry out investigations issue verdicts and apply sanctions it serves to meet the demands of three categories issuers by offering a marketplace where issuers can raise more capital investors by guaranteeing for information that is precise and accurate and by providing safety intermediaries through creating a professional competitive market for intermediaries what are the problems and associated worries say be the capital market regulator is facing a critical decision as a result of the complexity of its role in recent years prudent regulation is given less attention than excessive focus to market conduct regulation because sebi has far more ability to cause significant economic harm than its counterparts in the us and the uk it has stronger statutory enforcement power it is done on the basis of suspicion and places the onus of providing the suspicion on those impacted thereby impeding economic activity to a considerable degree this is akin to preventive detention due to the broad discretion granted by the sebi act to create subordinate legislation its legislative powers are almost absolute the way i had there is a need for a mindset shift in fact hundreds of suggestions that the market is ripe with tips and that a crackdown and severe intervention are required would be received clearing the policy space in this segment of the market ought to be a best top priority organizational issues and human resources require sebi special attention to attract the best talent sebi needs to promote lateral entry there is still work to be done to senior employee alignment and fitment following the forward market commissions merger with sebi because right now the forward market commission which was launched for the uh, goods or for the uh, trading in goods so have been merged with sebi because the forward market commission was uh, uh, initially criticized for its failure lapses in controlling the things that's why it was merged with sebi so as a reform of that so this change has been done enhancing market diligence and maintaining ongoing surveillance can reinforce uh, uh, enforcement the financial market in india are still divided when two regulators have similar authority over a financial product one cannot be held accountable for the failure of the other it is logical in this situation to eliminate boundaries that are excluded and areas of overlap by creating a single financial regulator conclusion in the upcoming years as the economy expands and more people invest in the stock market it will be crucial to maintain the flow of accurate financial information educate investors and safeguard their interests okay next topic and bar and ecology context india's coastal ecosystem coastal regulation zone notification 2019 coastal management information system mangroves advantages resulting from coastal adoption indian government initiative led to coastal management so the topic will cover what are the indian government's initiative
so uh, indian coastal okay so according to a recent study that was published in the journal nature climate change efforts to adapt to coastal area have been highlighted in a number of indian coastal regions including mumbai that uh, ormara in sundarbana puri in odisha and the konkan region in maharashtra these regions were classified as having moderate to high adaptation measures impact on low lying coastal regions approximately 11% of the world's population live in low lying coastal area which are susceptible to flooding these areas also account for 14% of the world's gross domestic product global variations in regional adaptation nearly half of the regions surveyed show significant adaptation gap concentrating on individual risk but ignoring the underlying causes of vulnerability in about 13% of the case studies high to very high adaptation was found this was primarily observed in north america and europe the remaining countries which include australia new zealand were classified as moderate differentiating adaptation strategies in particular indian uh, coastal areas india's mumbai puri konkan uh, that gormara region in the sundarban shows different adaptation strategies Gormara presented uh, generic adaptation plans that lack tactics unique to the state agency. Additionally, the state's claim uh, plan ignored several coastal hazards in the Konkan region, which lacked adaptation plan. Mumbai has a climate action plan, but its adaptation measures fell short in assessing risk and meeting the needs of the city's most vulnerable citizens. Puri lacked uh, sector-specific adaptation strategies. and the identification of high risk communities even with action plans in place coastal adaptation what it is coastal adaptation is the process of addressing and mitigating the effects of climate change and natural hazards on coastal area with the goal of safeguarding infrastructure and communities for extreme weather events erosion and rising sea levels furthermore there is a chance that coastal adaptation measures will open up a variety of opportunities The benefit of coastal adaptation include economic diversification. Putting coastal adaptation plans into action can boost the economy by launching new business in the eco tourism, renewable energy, and climate resilient infrastructure sectors. These ventures may also create jobs and business opportunities for the local people. Okay, who uh, will be the major uh, sufferers? of these uh, hazards and if steps are taken so to make them the real beneficiary of this is so okay so enhancement of biodiversity natural ecosystem can unintentionally be destroyed and preserved the result of effective coastal adaptation the development of habitats for vulnerable or endangered species is encouraged by this restoration which also helps to preserve native species resilient food source and livelihood a consistent supply of seed food and agricultural products can be guaranteed through effective coastal adaptation particularly through techniques like aquaculture sustainable fishing and integrated farming in coastal areas this helps to ensure global food security and provides coastal community with a stable means of subsistence resilience building and disaster risk reduction coastal adaptation is essential for lowering coastal communities susceptibility to disasters
related challenges, complex stakeholder coordination, a variety of stakeholders including business, government agencies, local governments and environmental organizations are involved in coastal adaptation. Due to varying priorities, it can be challenged to coordinate the uh, disparate interest and ensure effective collaboration among them, which can cause delay and conflicts. Uncertainty in future climate projections, it can be difficult to forecast future climate scenario such as sea level rise and extreme weather events. Planning for long term strategies like adjusting to uncertain climate projections can be difficult which creates uncertainty in development and infrastructure planning. Community fragmentation and social cohesion, relocation of land use changes burdened by coastal adaptation initiative may occasionally cause community to become more desperate, dispersed. Population dispersal or relocation may have an adverse impact on a community's resilience and cultural practices by offsetting social structures and cohesiveness. What coastal management initiatives are undertaken by the Indian government in order to control uh, shoreline changes brought on by climate change? The Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change established the hazard line along Indian coast. By designating no development zone and permitting erosion control measures, the Coastal Regulation Zone Notification 2019 seek to protect coastal ecosystem and human livelihood. In order to build and maintain protective structures and vulnerable stretches of coastline, the Coastal Management Information System CMIS, gather near shore coastal data. Uh, Puducherry and Kerala have shown how to effectively mitigate coastal erosion, which has ended in the restoration and preservation of coastal areas. Way forward, nature based solutions uh, stress natural solutions that support rather than interfere with natural processes. Coastal protection that is both affordable and environmentally friendly can be achieved by putting strategy like the restoration of mangroves, salt masses and dunes into the practices. Community based methods involve the community in the planning and execution of coastal adaptation strategies, provide them with the scientific resources and expertise to support their decision making since they already have significant traditional knowledge in the field. Application of advanced technology. To better understand and anticipate coastal changes, make use of cutting edge technologies like artificial intelligence, remote sensing and predictive modeling. Real time data can be obtained from these tools for more precise planning and reaction. Hybrid engineering solutions blend cutting edge hybrid engineering solutions with con conventional hard infrastructure for instance in uh, incorporating uh, natural elements into control conventional constructions such as artificial reef can improve coastal protection and support biodiversity. Conclusion, a strict coastal policy must be implemented in order to protect nature and the population. To ensure the continued use of coastal zone, the government should create comprehensive legislation for coastal region and encourage a large role for local organizations and more community involvement in coastal area governance. Okay. So this uh, is the uh, call of the time because the coastal regions are need to be protected. So next topic is about the pink uh, bollworm. Uh, farmers in cotton growing regions uh, are fighting to control the pink bollworm pest which is creating havoc and causing significant economic losses. 
What is pink bollworm? Pink bollworm uh, is a major insect that mostly attack cotton crops. It harm developing cotton fruits but such as the square lower bud and the uh, bowl circular sack of seed with cotton fibers. Uh, since the uh, mid 2000 when scientists discovered that the bug has developed resistance to the cry A1C gene and the genetically modified cotton variety, Indian farmers have consistent losses of Bt cotton crop owing to pink bullworm infestation. Following its uh, success in the United States, Australia in 1996, the Bt cotton was introduced in India in 2002. Okay, and the red uh, bullworm uh, was there and uh, in the traditional one and the pink bullworm started affecting the Bt cotton. But fruit bowl is another significant pest of cotton. Solution, cotton insect dynamics is the study of the population behavior of pests that harm cotton crops. It includes understanding the factors that govern insect population and uh, designing efficient pest management measures. Okay, then the next topic is the Global uh, Preparedness uh, Monitoring Board has issued report A against the preparedness report of the state of the world's preparedness report. Okay, so uh, the GPMD monitoring framework, GPMD stands for Global Preparedness Monitoring Board, uh, monitoring framework for a preparedness published in May 2023 provides a solid evidence based mechanism for assessing worldwide pandemic preparedness. That means how the world is prepared for, the, for any upcoming pandemic. The world's ability to deal with potential new pandemic danger is still insufficient. A downward trend has been noticed in area of preparedness such as global coordination of R&D efforts to combat misinformation, community engagement, participation of low and middle income country in decision making, independent monitoring and so on. The lacunas. Improving trend noticed in the area such as R&D capacity building, civil society and commercial sector involvement, funding social media response. Okay, so enhance evidence based monitoring to improve effectiveness, accountability, and trust, reform the uh, global financial structure for pandemic prevention, uh, preparation, and uh, response. PPPR is a global benefit that improves all countries' ability to detect and respond to pandemics, increase regional RD and supply capacity to overcome inequalities in global access to medical uh, countermeasures, increase multi sectoral and multi stakeholder engagement. Okay, then the next uh, topic is the United Nations Environment Program. UNDP announced the Champions of the Earth Award 2023. Okay, so the Champions of the Earth Award recognizes individuals, groups, and organizations 
effort have a significant impact on the environment. The UN's highest environmental honor presented yearly since the creation of Pronto Decree in 2005 and acknowledges outstanding acknowledges outstanding uh, contribution okay uh, acknowledge outstanding leaders from government civil society and the commercial sector to eliminate plastic pollution 2023 hour recognized in four categories so what eliminate plastic pollution category of policy leaders mayor uh, uh, josephina uh, belmonte of uh, quenzian city philippines has proposed a ban on single use plastic as well as a trade in program for plastic pollution Category of insight and action, the Ellen MacArthur Foundation in the United Kingdom is helping to mainstream the life cycle strategy which includes plastics. Then category of uh, entrepreneurial vision, Blue Cycle, uh, track and monitor the entire lifespan of plastic pollution using uh, blockchain technology and the Internet of Things, IoT. Jose Manuel uh, Molet, Chile is the founder of the Algo Alga, Algramo, a social enterprise dedicated to offering refill service that minimizes plastic pollution and lowers the cost of basic necessities. Category of Science and Innovation, the Council of Science and Industrial Research, CSSR, South Africa, developed technology to combat plastic pollution using cutting edge technology and multidisciplinary research. Every year, up to 23 million tons of plastic waste goes into aquatic ecosystem, thus polluting lakes, rivers, and the sea. Imagine 23 million tons of uh, plastic waste. 23 million tons. So look at the huge number. 23 million tons of plastic waste. Okay, so, so category of science and innovation, the Council of Scientific Industrial Research, South Africa, develops technology to combat plastic pollution using cutting edge technology and multidisciplinary research. Every year, up to 23 million tons of plastic waste goes into the aquatic ecosystem, thus polluting lakes, rivers, and the sea. Then the uh, Aralang Wildlife Sanctuary reported that the Maoist opened fire at forest watchers in the Aralang Wildlife Sanctuary. Uh, about Aralam Oilio Sanctuary established in 1984, located in the northeastern most protected area of Kerala in the Kannur district. Forest type, great coastal tropical evergreen forest, west coast uh, semi evergreen forest, south Indian most deciduous forest, 
शॉर्ट दम हिल्ट ऑफ एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट प्लांटेशंस हो ना निलगिरी निलगिरी टू पीजन कोलंबा इपिसोनी लायंटेल मकाउ एटसेट्रा फॉर्म्स वाटर सेड एरिया ऑफ द चेनका पुजा एंड द उत्तरी पुजा रिवर ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ द रिवर भालापटना लाइट कंबट हेलीकॉप्टर प्रचंड आर्मी सक्सेसफुली टेस्ट फायर्स रॉकेट एंड टॉरेंट गन्स ऑफ इंडिजिनस एलपीएलसीएच प्रचंड अमित फायर्स इट वाज इंडक्टेड इन इंडियन एयर फोर्स इन 2022 द एलसीएच प्रचंड इज अ मल्टी रोल कंबट हेलीकॉप्टर डिजाइन एंड डेवलप बाय द हिंदुस्तान एरोनॉटिक्स लिमिटेड ओनली अटैक हेलीकॉप्टर इन द वर्ल्ड दैट कैन लैंड एंड ऑप्टेक एट एन एल्टीट्यूड ऑफ 5000 मीटर्स कैपेबल ऑफ फायरिंग एयर टू ग्राउंड एंड एयर टू एयर मिसाइल्स fitted with 5.8 ton twin engine named Shakti engine primarily designed for development in high altitude area like the Sachin Glacier it has best strength features, armor shield systems and dark mode attack capability indigenously developed by India Norman featured uh, first Olympic medal for India India took part in the first ever uh, modern Olympic games in the second edition of the summer Olympic held in 900 AD Norman Pichard was the only athlete representing India at the Olympic game in 1900 but competed in the men's 200 meters and 200 meters hurdles. He finished second in both the events and won India its first medal over in Olympic game history. However, he is considered a controversial Olympian as he claimed by both Britain and India because during that period in India he was better Britishers. Then come to the question, analyze the role of C and AG of India as the guardian of the public purse and in ensuring the accountability of the government. Every day we give one uh, question answer writing session. Okay. And today's question is regarding the C and AG, the constitutional office. Okay, so the CNAG uh, is an independent office established by Article 148 of the Indian Constitution. In the department head of Indian Audit and Accounts, he is in charge of overseeing the nation's entire financial system at both the central, uh, federal, and the state level, and is the custodian of the public offer, upholding the Indian Constitution and parliamentary law pertaining to financial administration in his responsibility. The following are the responsibility of the CNAG in maintaining government accountability and acting as the custodian of the public offer. Executive accountability, the CNAG audit reports ensure that the parliament is held accountable for the financial administration, decisions made by the executive or the council of ministers or the parliament's representative. The CNAG audits spending on the parliament's behalf, he only has to answer to the parliament therefore. We perform an audit to verify the funding provisions 
In order to confirm that there is a valid voucher or proof of payment, the audit look at the uh, accuracy and uh, completeness of the accounts. The purpose of the audit against the funding provision is to determine if the front funds indicated in the accounts as having been disbursed were suitable and lawfully available for the use of purpose, use or uh, use or purpose for which they had been charged or applied. Propriety audit, the guarantee financial vigilance, C and AG is able to carry out the propriety audit in addition to the legal and regulatory audit. This implies that he can examine the wisdom, faithfulness and, uh, and economy of government spending in addition to making observation about its wastefulness and extravagance. Any expenditure that breaks the law or the constitution may be prohibited by the C and AG. Uh, stopping monetary losses, financial irregularities, losses, frauds, unnecessary spending and the precision of uh, budgeting control of expenditures, saving etc. are all briefly covered in the C and AG audit report. The audit report's goal is to stop financial losses of any kind. They draw attention to deals which uh, have not shown to be profitable yet. Ensures effective check. The rules and procedures in place are made to ensure an effective check on the assessment, collection and proper distribution of revenue and we audit the centers and the each state's receipt and outlay on uh, to confirm this. Keeping an eye out of corruption, uh, political scandals and corruption have guaranteed the executive unthinkable losses. One such instance uh, is the coal stamp in which the C and AG work was crucial in identifying the irregularities in a single bail, delays in work and awarding of a contract to unfit contractors was mentioned in the C&AG report on corruption in the Mumbai civic body. Function in guaranteeing efficiency, the C&AG evaluates the effectiveness with which government agency and establishment have carried out their designated task. Additionally, it observes the operation of government projects in various industrial sectors. Role in good governance, the C and AG finds instances of financial mismanagement through audits which advance good governance and advance the nation's development as a whole. The C and AG's function in uh, encouraging accountability and transparency in governance is essential to fostering citizen government trust and guaranteeing the effective use of public fund. Conclusion, according to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the most significant official in uh, accordance with the Indian constitution is the C and AG. The C and AG Okay, so uh, the CRD is always striving to protect the hard earned taxpayers' money and has developed its role as the public's friend and representative. He is therefore one of the cornerstone of India's democratic political system. Okay. The office of the CRD, uh, we can very prominent in the period of Vinod Roy and he unearthed a number of scams from the old gate to the uh, to the spectrum scam, old grid scam, lot of scams and uh, he uh, projected himself as not mere an uh, accountant okay but a real custodian of the purse of the country okay so consider the following statement coming to the MCQ consider the following statement regarding sim swap scam recently seen in news in the sim swap scam protesters are able to obtain password or OTP that allow them to access their target bank accounts Protesters always acquire direct communication with the victim to carry out the sim swap scam. In this, only two each incorrect, but one is correct. Direct, they are not in direct communication. Fine. With reference to the hemoglobin, consider the following statement. It is an iron containing protein found in the red blood cells. That is uh, right. Women usually have higher level of hemoglobin than men. Wrong. A low hemoglobin level is referred as a anemia. So, one and three are correct. Two are correct. 
uh, uh, that uh, Candle Mice uh, Obstacomus recently seen in news. It is it is one of mushroom. Now the column treatment again the third operate transfer model TOD model. The operation maintenance. Uh, obligations of projects under the TOT model lies with the government. Uh, that is incorrect. The proceeds received by the government under these TOT models have been utilized for future development of highway. That is right. With the public statement regarding the photocopying technology, it contains a photoconductive surface which is negatively charged for its operation. Right. Okay, you just say uh, projectively charged donor. Okay, you just say projectively charged donor which melt and fuses with the paper. So both are correct here. Which of the following best describes hostile activity watch kernel hawk system recently seen in news? It is a cloud based information management system to manage wildlife crime. So, A is the right answer. With reference to the coastal management in India, because of the following statement, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change set the hazards lines for India's coast to manage shoreline change. Uh, uh, okay. The Biodiversity Act 2002 aims to conserve coastal area uh, like route, align erosion control uh, measures while defining no development zone. The coastal management information system collects near shore coastal data for designing and maintaining protection measures. Here two are correct because uh, this this uh, 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 two is incorrect. The reference to Hamas. Hamas is a Palestinian political armed group that was founded in 1887. Right. The United States had designated Hamas a terror organization in 1997, whereas no other country sees it the same way. Two is incorrect. That's the following situation: Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, India, Kazakhstan. So. Uh, that uh, it is Kazakhstan and India 2023, only two are correct. Okay, so what are the two? So it is Kazakhstan and India. So thank you for watching, keep watching regularly.